Uh, good morning, everyone, and I hope you are all safe and well. Sadly, my friends, today is the day we start making our journey back to the UK from Are in Sweden, and a wonderful time we have had. But before we start that journey, I thought I would give you a quick video tour of our beautiful apartment, which was available on Airbnb. I will post the link in the comments below. And uh, let's go inside and have a little look around and see what accommodation we have been enjoying for the last five days. This is the entrance hallway, plenty of storage for shoes and coats. The white unit, which looks like a fridge, is actually a clothes dryer for your ski wear after a busy day on the slopes. Before you get to the lounge, kitchen, dining area, which is open plan, you will find a really nice double bedroom, overhead lamps, shelves, and two wardrobes either side. No bedside tables, but that's not a problem. Just one thing to point here, guys. Uh, it seems to be the tradition in Sweden, or particularly with this Airbnb, that um, you bring your own personal bed sheets and towels. So uh, just bear that in mind before you start journey out. And then just down here, we've got a single bedroom with bunk beds, plenty of shelving units, another wardrobe, Nice laminate floor throughout, really good condition as well. And then into the living room area. It's very Ikea, but it is Sweden. And some traditional cross country skis on the wall just there. It also looks like the owner is a skier as well. That's some sort of, I don't know, slalom or downhill ski vest. Red Bull, home run. Snab bust in RA 2017, so a few years ago. There's also a really nice smart TV with Netflix and Amazon Prime, also a web browser for um, things like YouTube and Facebook as well. We had no problems with that. This was Emily's favourite spot. Nice little comfy chair with a footstool. Nice coffee table where we played games, cards and shared drinks and good times. Dylan's favourite spot was over in the corner there. And I used to chill out on this extra long bit because I've got extra long legs. Nice big dining table, eight chairs, so for a big gathering. Nice mood lighting, again it's all Ikea. Plenty of shelving, games already here. Plenty of glasses, magazines. Loads of candles and tea lights as well, which I love. It's really got that Swedish sort of hygge feeling going on. Really nice kitchen. Fridge freezer, fridge down below, fridge up top. Plenty of storage cupboards as well. Nice coffee making machine, which I used every morning. Four ring hob and oven. Dishwasher as well, sink and drainer. With regards to provisions, the supermarket is about five minutes drive from here, 15 minutes walk, not far at all, and it is truly epic. It's got everything in there you could possibly need. With regards to your provisions, the custom out here seems to be you leave any items that you've not completely consumed. So we've left some beers and some tea, some orange juice, and when we got here, people had already left coffee and sugar and stuff. So in the freezer there was also frozen pizzas which Dylan enjoyed and we've replaced those as well so we've left uh, also some fresh fruit which we didn't eat and some what they call bag for foods which are those white bags that you take with you when you go for takeaway pizzas or burgers there's plenty of great restaurants here in the village of Are for burgers pizzas all within five minutes drive or 15 minutes walk nice balcony just out here Fantastic views of the piste as well. And if you take a look over here, you can just see the chairlifts going up. So the base camp chairlift is literally two minutes walk from this apartment, which is absolutely spot on in the morning. And also at the end of the day, after a long day skiing, you can just literally ski almost to the door of this apartment. So let's continue with a quick tour around and I'll show you 
The bathroom area, which is well equipped, which is just down here. There's also stairs and lifts to all floors. This apartment is on the fifth floor. So really nice bathroom, hand basin, WC, heated towel rail, vanity mirror, shelves, more storage shelves. Again, we've left a few toiletry items and some toilet paper. Just through here, there's a big shower, three glass screens, and then wait for it, wait for it. A sauna, absolutely essential at the end of the day of hard skiing on the pistes. Let me just take a quick walk in. I enjoyed this almost every day. It's a little bit claustrophobic in here, so some people don't like it. And it's, a, it's an electric heater with artificial coals and there's also the water bucket as well. Thermostat, hooks for your towel. And then let's just head back out into the hallway and we will say our final farewell to this beautiful, well-appointed apartment in the village of Are with views of the piste, five minutes drive from the restaurants and the supermarket, 15 minutes walk with parking. At the front of this building, there are apartments with lake views, but I'm guessing they will be more expensive. So my friends, I hope you found this little video tour informative. As I said at the beginning of the video tour, there is a link in the comments below to the Airbnb page. And just one final thing to note, it is self check-in and check-out. So there is a key safe with a key. You will get a code for the key safe from the vendor and you are expected to maintain the apartment yourself, i.e. leave it how you found it. So we've done a proper march out military clean through this morning, leaving everything absolutely pristine condition. So there you go, my friends. This has been our accommodation in the village of Array. From my family to yours, all the very best, and I hope to see you in the next video.